So today we're going to take a look at DSG versus Oxygen because, of course, it was the uh, much anticipated debut of Ye on this team. Uh, but it did not go to plan for DSG as uh, both Ye and the team as a whole had a pretty rough game. But to be fair, Oxygen also, I think, did play pretty well, particularly here on uh, Haven. And uh, let's take a look at round number two. And I don't normally cover round number twos. And the reason is most of the time it's a pretty dull, boring round. And it's just a stomp. But this time, actually, DSG decided to force in this second round on the attack side. Um, and I, I I like forces. I'm a proponent and still a believer very much so in the forces, particularly, you know, how Valorant is getting played at the moment. Uh, one thing I don't necessarily love, though, is the Sheriff Falls. Uh, this, I think, is my least favorite buy in all of Valorant, <laughs> is a Sheriff Fall. Uh, just because I feel like if you hit them in the head with your first shot, you know, they'll probably die anyway. And if you miss that first shot, they'll probably kill you no matter whether you have Light Shields or Full Shields, right? The, the Light Shields, Full Shields, Sheriff is, is basically the same thing, in my opinion, a lot of the time. And uh, so, yeah, not, not a great lover of that. But I, I guess it makes some kind of sense for what they're going to do because these two are going to go down C long with the Sheriffs and these three are going to come in through a uh, garage. Uh, so, you know, hey, we've got short range guns and we've got long range guns. So I guess I guess there's some logic behind it. Um, but, yeah, not, not a great lover of uh, the Sheriff Falls. But then this round itself is kind of a mess. Uh, quick shout out to Rustin as well, who's a sub, their assistant coach who comes in playing for Oxygen here uh, in this game, and uh, he's going to fry in this round. Um, he's bought a Judge, and uh, he actually top-fragged for Oxygen in this map, uh, which is kind of funny that their assistant coach top-fragged, but here we go. What we're going to start off with, as you see, we're coming quick in towards Garage, and we've got this Sova Dart. Problem with this Sova Dart is that it doesn't scan the close corner, and I was really confused at first at uh, what was going on here, but the Sova is kind of, I think, above, like, where we can see just here. And I guess this shelf is in the way of the dart. And therefore, Rustin, I'm pretty sure, does not get scanned by this dart. Which is not good. Uh, obviously, that is not good. And you'll see this kind of being the case because Ye, you know, you would think if he's getting scanned, like, he would have got scanned just there, right? And you'd think Ye would just insta-turn, you know, to look at, at Rustin there, but... He's not looking at him, right? There's the dart. There's the shelf. There's Rustin. I mean, I, I guess this shelf is probably impeding this view. And you can see Ye ain't looking the right way, uh, right? And they are running into a judge anyway. So, I mean, they kind of had a hard counter for what they were trying to do anyway here with uh, with Rustin's judge against a force. Um, and so, you know, now it's kind of like, ooh, do we want to go there? And so what we're also about to get is uh, that Clear here is about to die on C Long to Scuba there. Uh, so there goes that fight as well. And now, uh, now obviously, it's the 3v5 already. And we're kind of in a bad spot. We then try and stun, but we actually miss the stun. Rustin doesn't even get stunned. I, I mean, even so, a stun judge is still a pretty big threat, I will say. And they miss a shock dart as well. And so Rustin has avoided all this utility at this point. And, uh, yeah, just pretty much cleans up there and uh, pretty much wins the round. So you could instantly see this is just the second round in the game. You know, some problems emerging already where we've had, you know, utility not being quite in the right place. And, you know, that cost us essentially a couple kills in this round. And, yeah, it just didn't quite uh, seem to all be on the same page. And then eventually Nerve will die here to Verno and Oxygen pick up that second round. Now let's come to round number eight. And this one is kind of an interesting game of chicken. And I'll explain why uh, later on in the round. But we're going to start off with, you know, pretty normal stuff. Trade of Silver Darts, uh, Omen Smoke back here, Deeper Omen Smoke back here. And uh, DSG do decide uh, to leave and actually start to come towards Garage in just a, a second. Uh, but this is going to end up being an A hit. And the reason I call this a game of chicken is because uh, they have two pretty big ults for this A site, uh, do, uh, do DSG. And so you think, you know, that's going to be a problem. The drone comes in, spots the operator over towards C just there. And so the fact that they've seen the op and they've created a bit of pressure here, maybe that means, you know, Normally you would be a bit afraid of kind of, you know, contact re-clearing A, but because you've seen the op, perhaps that makes it a little less scary. So that's exactly what they come and do. Uh, but the thing is, obviously, you do have a breach ult here, right? Which, and, and normally, a breach ult comes onto this A site. It's a very normal thing for a breach ult to come onto A. Uh, but actually, Oxygen, as we can see, have this kind of triple stack here on A. They, they really think it's going to be this kind of A hit, but 
the thing is they have a breach hole, right? So you're like, why would you stay on A? But the thing is the SG know that they have a breach hole, so they're perhaps expecting oxygen to play around that breach hole and actually be off site, particularly because maybe they've created a bit of pressure here. And so they're expecting maybe rotates and, and you know, the fact that this will be a free site. And so DSG, what they want to do, uh, I think, is to, you know, basically walk in, take this site for free and then, you know, plant the spike. And now you've got a breach up for the post plant. And that's going to make it, you know, very, very difficult for oxygen to actually, you know, get a successful post plant, essentially. Um, unfortunately for them, though, oxygen may be reading that just decide to stick around <laughs> and uh, they play basically off the contact of this turret. And essentially just own DSG as they walk in. So the turret gets destroyed there. Uh, there is a smoke on the site as well that they do put in their DSG. But as soon as they destroy this turret, out comes a stun. And now it's just an absolute firing squad from uh, Oxygen. As basically they win every single fight. They win three fights in the space of about a second. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it right there. The Omen even TPs across. Uh, which actually <laughs> Mitch gets a little bit confused. And almost dies because his own Omen <laughs> ults above him. And he thinks that's the opponent. Uh, but he actually somehow manages to kill Ye there as well. Uh, which is kind of bizarre. And so, yeah, this is pretty much round over at this point, and they'll end up just uh, rushing clear at the end. But you see this kind of game of chicken. It just felt like Oxygen had a pretty good read as well, as we saw from there. And uh, even though Mitch at one point turned to try and aftershock his own teammate, uh, he does manage to finish the round. Okay, now let's come to round number 12, where actually they're going to try basically the same idea they did in the first round that we looked at, this time uh, with a bit better guns. But uh, yeah, this round... <laughs> Maybe he's going to show some of the lack of coordination between uh, Ye and his new teammates because you'll see here that Ye is about to get stunned by Steel for the first time in this round. And yes, this definitely is Steel's because Mitch is on the other side of the map and actually has already used his uh, his uh, breach fault line at the start of the round. So this, this is definitely Steel's fault line. And uh, obviously that stuns Ye. And I guess maybe because they felt they needed to do that in case someone was in this close corner again because they did this dart again that doesn't clear the close corner. Uh, and so, yeah, I guess I guess maybe that's why they stunned there. Uh, but Pony manages to get the first kill. And then somehow, actually, they're going to make this a 4v4. It looks like Scuba should win this fight like all day and all night. But actually, Nerve does manage to win it. Uh, and then we get uh, an Omen Flash coming in onto the site. It's just gone there. You can just see it. Ye dashes in behind it, and so it all looks good. And then, uh, well, Steel is going to take this moment to decide <laughs> to uh, stun Ye for the second time by ulting him. Um, and so, yeah, you can see timings and maybe understanding between teammates. Maybe not fully quite there yet for DSG as uh, Ye gets ulted by his own teammate and then actually pays for it with his life. They do actually get a trade here, uh, do DSG, and this round ends in a bizarre way as well. DSG actually win this round. Uh, as we start getting trades kind of back and forth, we get a second uh, breach ult coming in, and so Pony now has to avoid his team's own breach ult as well, um, and he actually dies for that. And so now Nerve is stunned up, uh, Verno gets that kill. That's going to get traded by clear in just a second from here. So we get that trade. Uh, then Mitch is going to manage to kill Steel. But in the process, at some point, and I really don't know how this quite happened. Steel must have put an aftershock like this, I guess. And Mitch dies to that aftershock. As, as clear is kind of coming around this corner, he dies to it. And we get an aftershock kill. You actually can't see it because it's behind my head. But trust me, an aftershock got a kill. You can just see the remnants of it perhaps there. And so this bizarre round ended in a truly bizarre way. And you see perhaps some of the struggles that uh, DSG might have had in terms of some of their coordination. And then finally, let's finish with round number 15, which is another round that DSG win in a pretty improbable way, I will say. Again, it starts off with some misunderstanding between uh, Ye and Steel here as uh, Ye is going to swing out from garage here. There's going to be a stun from Steel in just a second and so it all looks good. Then he tries to come back as that turret sees him but uh, Steel kind of body blocks him a bit there. And that's about to happen again when uh, Ye tries to run back but Steel decides he wants to fight and so they can't escape. And again, just on different pages, you can see just there. Uh, again, obviously kind of first first game things, I guess. Um, and then, but somehow DSG from this 5v3 with worse guns actually managed to win this round. We can run it a bit faster forward here as eventually Oxygen will decide to come towards the seaside. Um, but DSG, yeah, it's going to be clean in this 3v5. I mean, they're actually going to win without losing a, a player from this point on. Uh, they see them running towards C there, right? So they are able to kind of get these rotates coming in. 
But then uh, as the so you know they are they are kind of there you know like for ready for when this spike is uh, is about to go down. But uh, yeah, this is going to be really really clean here from uh, from DSG. They managed to get the first kill here from Nerve, I guess just through this smoke. I I think just to spam through the smoke. But then this Omen flash catches not just the jet but also the breach and the Sova just with one flash manages to catch. All three of these players, and so in come DSG with that. They're then going to send a dart in onto the site as well, which lands here. And because this, you know, all these guys are blinded, basically, you know, they don't destroy the dart either. So they all start getting pinged by it. And uh, yeah, well, they just start cleaning up DSG, as you can see, just with everyone revealed. Rustin then tries to get a trade off, but it's too late. And Nerve manages to get that final kill. And DSG in a 3v5, you know, with what little utility they had, they made it look very, very clean and very well. But I think on the whole, you could see for DSG, this looked like a team that, you know, was on different pages, that wasn't, you know, didn't quite have the synergy. Yes, Ye didn't have, uh, you know, some great moments. I actually spared showing some of these uh, kind of weird moments that he had and he missed some shots. Uh, but, you know, it's a first game. I'm sure that they will improve with time. But obviously, ideally, the improvement needs to come sooner rather than later.